Hey everyone, okay so today I'm going to be doing a top 10 products I would repurchase tag and I hope you guys all enjoy. I have them all right here and I'm so excited to be doing this video because it is like going to help you guys out so much. It's going to show you like my favorite ultimate up there must have products. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope this isn't too long or too rambly and I hope I don't talk about each product too much. So I hope you guys all enjoy and let's just get started. Okay, so I have three skincare products and the first one would be a face wash. And this is Herbalism Facial Cleanser for Oily and Problem Skin. So it just looks like this and all it is is just a cleanser that has that exfoliates too and gets rid of the oil and it's just amazing and I love the smell of it and I just cannot get enough of it so there's this and the, whoa, the, by the way this is from Lush just in case if you didn't know so there's herbalism okay the next product is also from Lush and this is the tea tree toner toner water so just looks like that I love this stuff so much all you do is just spray it on after your face before you spray it on your face before your moisturizer or throughout the day if you get oily and you are oil free and it is amazing so I really like this and it is only a few dollars too okay and then my next skincare product is the professional from benefit I love this so much because I get really oily that's why I have those two like oil getting rid of oil products and I like to, I get mainly oily under my eyes or on the side of my nose, um, or on my, like, in my T-zone. Um, I don't really like applying this all over my face because I feel like I have enough already over my face. This minimizes the appearance of pores and wrinkles, so that's why I normally apply it under my eyes. And then sometimes I'll apply it on my nose and the side of my nose. So, it all depends on, like, the mood I'm in or stuff like that, but overall it is a really good product and it matches my background. You guys can barely even see it. But, there it is. My favorite blush that I would repurchase, um, repurchase this color specifically and then also in other colors. Which that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Doll Face. And it just looks like this. It is a nice pinky color. I would repurchase this color in a heartbeat. I would... I could not live without this. I wear this every single day. It is my ultimate favorite blush and it just looks amazing on all skin types, skin colors, I think. And I just think it looks really good and it has a really good formula too. And um, I can't wait to try it out in other colors too. Okay, and then the next product would definitely have to be High Beam. Um, I emphasized on the H. High Beam. This is <laughs> this is High Beam, and it just looks like this. Um, it is a beautiful highlighter. I love these two together, you guys. Here we always talk about these this the Tarte blush. Um, so I always like wearing this and it just gives that right amount of shimmer to your cheekbones that makes it look so natural and so like real and it doesn't look artificial or fake. It looks really natural if you apply the right amount. Fake. So use the right amount of this and it is fantastic. Okay, for eyes, um, my favorite primer for eyeshadows would definitely have to be the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So just like this, this is the newer packaging. I love this so much. I have eyeshadow on today. It has not moved throughout the whole entire day. It's almost four o'clock or so. So, and I put it on at like seven in the morning. So that says something about this and it is really good. High quality. You get what you pay for. Pretty, I want to say it's like $20, which isn't bad at all. So. so my favorite mascara would definitely have to be the Lash Blast Volume Mascara by CoverGirl. This is my all-time favorite mascara. It gives me the right amount of volume I'm looking for. It coats my lashes nicely. It gives me the dark lashes that I love. And it looks amazing. And you can already tell that I repurchased this a lot. Because I have a waterproof one in my collection. I have another backup and another backup. This is my all-time favorite mascara. I cannot live without it and I love it to death. Okay, so my next eye product would have to be the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. As you can see, I used a lot of it. And it's just a nice white creamy eye pencil and I love this in the inner corner my eyes look like so bright and awake okay I have one favorite lip product and this is the Maybelline baby lips which these baby lips are so inexpensive and they are also really good quality 
and your lips are moisturized and they do come in a nice variety of colors so my favorite one is in cherry me which is just a nice pinky or a nice red I love wearing this on my lips it just looks so nice and natural and I feel like for my skin tone it looks amazing and it is my all-time favorite and the baby lips are again a very good formula so you don't necessarily have to go for a red but I love the red and then my last product would definitely have to be the Wet n Wild Wild Shine Nail Care in Lavender Cream. Um, this is my favorite nail polish ever. I'm going to paint my toes this right after this video or soon after. We're back to school, but it is my favorite nail polish ever. I cannot live without it, and it just looks beautiful on. It is not, not on my nails now. Um, the one I'm, is on my nails is China Glaze's Purple Panic with glitter on top of it. But this is my favorite nail polish ever, and I cannot live without it, and I am so in love, so go check this out. Okay, so I hope I wasn't out of breath. I feel like I was, like, breathing deeply or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will definitely talk to you guys later. Bye! <laughs>